Hey guys, Freddy Check with CFL Check. Hopefully everybody's doing great to start this video off. What we're looking at here today is Friendly TV. Now we did a video on this live TV streaming service last year, probably about mid-year. And we took a look at the channels and the pricing, you know, a lot of the same stuff we do with other live services. So what we'll do here today is do the same to see what it looks like here in early 2024 to see if this is a live streaming service, a budget live streaming service that is, that may work for you or maybe it won't. Now we'll look at the pricing and all the information here on the website and what you get for your money. So let's go ahead now and take a look at that. And we have um, right here, 40 plus live and on demand channels, 40 plus channels live and on demand. So here's the listing. So pretty easy to view here. They're all in one spot. So not a huge, huge service, but again, for the price, it'll be more of a budget service and we'll go over the pricing here real soon. But when you look at these channels, you do have a couple of big ones in there. You have A&E, and you have Lifetime, you have History, and then you have also the Hallmark channels. You have the Weather Channel, and you have uh, FYI. Kind of an interesting thing to see FYI, and you don't see any DIY. So they usually work together as the same family there, but they do not have it on there. So... It is what it is, but they have a pretty good number of channels for the amount of money that you're paying. So we're gonna take a look at that here real soon. And you also have the Lifetime Movie Network on there as well. So that's not bad and all the hallmarks as mentioned a little bit ago, but not a bad mix of channels for the money. And you do get a seven day free trial as well. So that's really good. And here are the devices that it will work on. Pretty much the common stuff. Now you have an unlimited DVR and a 72-hour look back. Now we looked at that last year when we saw this, and it was pretty nice to go with the 72-hour look back. It's kind of different and easy to use, so it's really nice. And you could start the show 72 hours earlier and also record it, from what we can tell, which is also nice. So some other services do not allow that. So that's a nice feature, especially at a budget-level uh, service. So let's go ahead now down a bit more here and see what we have. Now you have the 40 plus live channels. They have 72 hour look back as we mentioned. Stream on multiple screens. On your TV or on the go. So you could do your, uh, you know, on your Roku, your Amazon Fire TV. So you could also do it on iOS and Android. So really nice options. And then you have unlimited DVR. So that's really nice now. That's available on the classic and premium plans, as we'll see here in a little bit when we take a look at the plans. So let's go down a bit more. And you have an, a Hallmark add-on option, but they really don't have too much in the way of add-ons. It's rather limited. But again, for the price you're paying, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and see what we get when we hit watch seven days for free. Now you have choose your plan. Now you have try seven days free, cancel anytime, all channels included in every plan. And then you have the annual option to pay or monthly. So when you look at the basic plan at $6.99 a month, you get standard definition, which you know not many people are probably going with that because of the price difference between that and classic. And you only get one simultaneous screen and you uh, do get live TV and on demand which, you know, if that makes sense. And then you get the classic, it's $7.99 a month. You have unlimited DVR recording and you keep those for up to three months. You have video quality in HD, simultaneous screens to live TV and on demand. And then you go with the premium at $9.99. That's nine months of recording stored in the cloud DVR. And you have HD quality again, and they have four simultaneous screens and you have live and on demand. So there you have it, the pricing, and you could do um, monthly. So we were looking at the annual pricing. I should have selected monthly, but let's look at the monthly, $7.99 for the basic. Classic is $9.99, premium $11.99. So when you go with the annual plan, you do save $2 off per month with the premium. And then you have $7.99 with the classic and $6.99 for the basic. So it's a dollar more for basic. And then you have there, you see, uh, $2 more when you do monthly for classic. So 
it really depends on what you want to do. If you pay for the annual, you probably want to do monthly, at least in the beginning. First, do the seven day free trial. And then if you like it, do monthly, do one month, see if you still like it. And then at that point, maybe switch to annual billing. This way, you, okay, I like the service. I think it's good for the money. And also I'll save a little bit more going forward if I pay for 12 months in advance. So there you have the pricing and pretty easy stuff on here. So what we're gonna do now here is we're gonna go ahead and take a run through on the service on our device on the TV. Now we did pay for service, so we'll check this out and show you how to move around the guide and what other features it may have. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, guys, we have the Google TV pulled up here on our Samsung TV. Now this is the Google TV box that we did a review on on the channel, the On O-N-N box by Walmart. A really good price for it, around $20 for the 4K streaming box. So check out that video for the review. That video is doing well on the channel. A lot of people are liking it from what we can tell. So check that out, it has a good review on it. Now we have friendly TV app here showing in the bottom right corner, as you can see. Now this app is available pretty much anywhere. So you can get it on Roku, Fire TV, Google TV, Apple TV, also with Android and iOS. So it pretty much has all of the platforms covered. So let's go ahead and launch it here and show you what we have. Now the guide will come up here and you can see that uh, A and E is the first channel that is in the list. We do have it by alphabet, I believe. You can go into settings and change that to alphabetical. So that's cool. Or you could just do by the friendly guide way. They have two options. So there you have A and E and then you have AccuWeather. Now A and E is available on here, but it's not on YouTube TV. So for YouTube TV customers who like A and E, it's possible to get it with this and do, do it as an add-on and also look at the other channels that you're get getting as well. So it may not be like you're just paying, you know, nine or $10 a month extra for A&E. There may be something else on here that you enjoy. So let's go down the list here in the guide. You have Court TV. We're not gonna list name every one of them. We do have them up on the uh, website we were on earlier. So go back earlier in the video and it shows you the 40 channels that come included with the service. So you have uh, FYI, Game Show Network, just to name the more popular ones, you have three Hallmark channels. Now that's really good around the holiday time. And also throughout the year, they have some good movies on there for people who like the Hallmark type of brand when it comes to their type of movies. Now you have Heartland TV, you have um, History Channel, and you have the Lifetime Channel Network and Lifetime Movie Network. Now local now, there's no local news on here. You're not going to get your ABC, CBS, NBC, or Fox on here, but you will have local now. That will be the closest thing you can get to local news. And as you can see here on the guide, the next show coming up is your news and weather. Actually, it's showing for 9 o'clock. Um, it's actually just about ending right now where you see the red line. You see the live line there. That's a really cool feature on the guide. It shows you exactly where you are right now but they do have news on that channel so some people may find that to be adequate enough as far as local news goes but if you if you use an antenna you could also get by with a digital antenna and get your local stations depending on how far away you are from the signal or how and how strong your antenna is those things come into play now you have the military history uh, channel and then you have friendly on demand outdoor channel and then you have uptv and the weather channel so those are pretty popular channels now let's go ahead and take a look at the, let's go back a little bit here. Now you can go back 72 hours. We won't go far, that far back. But let's go back to, um, let's go on one of these channels here. Let's go to the weather channel. And we're gonna select, um, let's go back to 5 a.m. on Sunday, world's deadliest weather. So let's go here. So when you, when you hit that hit enter, it should bring up an option here now to watch it or browse all episodes, or you can still record. So let's go ahead and hit record, and, it's, and you can do record this episode, and then you can confirm. Look at that, you can go back in time on the guide and still record a show that previously aired, which is really nice to see. Not every service can do that. So that's a nice feature that Friendly TV does include. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, movie options now that we got out of the guide. So we're gonna go up to the uh, movies and we're gonna take a look and see what they have available with the movies. 
And let's see here, now we're getting that loaded up. Now you have trending movies, and they have the expiration time coming up here, so that's really nice to see, they let you know. And then you have, uh, let's see, you have some pretty good, these are a lot of um, Lifetime Movie Networks. They're pulling it in from the channels that are on the package, so that they pull in, aggregate the movies into this section here. And then you have um, Live Now, and those are the channels right now, what's on now for Live. And they have just added movies, and they let you know what's new here, which is nice. And then you have the networks listed separately down here as well. So you can go into any one of these networks and see what you have. So it shows you here, um, they have movies down below, then TV shows. Those are the popular shows on FYI Network. So there you go. Let's go back. And we're going to go into the lower portion here as we go down. We have Lifetime Movie Network with their movies, which is nice. And then you have uh, 72 Hour Look Back. So these are the ones that this one will expire in 24 hours, but you can go back to 72 Hour Look Back. So that's really nice that they have that option here. Pretty well organized uh, system here. We mentioned that the first time we did the review last year, uh, that this app was impressive for, for the money that it cost. Um, they have it well laid out, but you know, it's not a huge, huge amount of channels, so they can keep things under control. They also don't have a problem with paying a lot for sports. That's really what drives up the price for a lot of these services is the live sports and those agreements they have to make and also the local channels, as we've seen the disputes going on with DirecTV and Dish Network, some of them are surrounding the actual local networks that these uh, owners like, uh, you know, we just saw the uh, Mission Broadcasting, uh, you know, possible there's a dispute with them with Dish, and then you have the possible come, uh, one coming up with Cox and DirecTV for local networks. So this is good to see that they keep their price down, they don't have to deal with that, but negative of that is that you don't have the local channel so there's a sacrifice somewhere and pros and cons with just about everything but overall this is a good app for the cost now let's go look at tv and with tv now you have the live now shows so it's showing you all the live shows right now you know aside from the guide you can look at it this way hit view more and they're all in thumbnails here so you can see what's on right now which is really cool a different look to it right now instead of looking at the tr uh, traditional type of guide so let's go down now you have game show network and all these channels here look at that all listed nicely so they have it laid out really nice let's go to my stuff my stuff now should show you the recording that we have that we have just recorded and there you go so it's showing up there and you have unlimited dvr so that's really nice and this is right now, this package we have is HD quality. Now the base plan is standard definition. I don't know how many people will go for that. It's really not much more to go for the you know, HD uh, quality, but there's your layout again. It looks really nice. I like the way the guide looks with the back, black background and the white uh, text. Uh, it looks, really, looks more crisp that way, uh, more robust, and it's really looking good. We really like this app for the money. So let's go and take a look here at the settings real quick, and then we'll show you what's in there. So let's go to this uh, cogwheel, right to the left of the friendly icon in the top right corner. Now we have that blurred out there for personal information, but you have account, you have closed captions. So if you uh, select that, there you go. You have the options, you have video quality, HD or SD only. Why you would put an SD only when you have the HD package, I don't know. Guide display, alphabetical or default. There you go. There's that guide mentioned about how they have how the guide is listing the uh, channels. They have active screens, no active screens found, and audio descriptors. So there you go. And you can sign out there as well. But pretty simple. That's what this app is about. And you know you don't have to really think too much when you use this as far as where do you go. It's like I said, it's very simple. Guide, movies, TV, my stuff. And then when you go into the guide, that's laid out very nicely. And then you have the 72 hour look back. So very nice. And they have also the uh, on demand. So if you go into movies again, you have, uh, you have the way to watch uh, movies on demand as well. So really nice. So what are your thoughts on Friendly TV? Is this something you've tried already or thinking about trying or maybe getting it as an add-on? 
to maybe YouTube TV for A&E and maybe FYI is not on there as well off the top of my head. Um, but they have, you know, a nice mix of channels here. They keep the price down. There's a reason how they do that. You see they don't have the live sports or the local channels. So that keeps the cost down for sure. They don't have too many issues with carriage disputes. Not to say it will never happen, but they did raise the price by a dollar last year, which is not much, but when it's a lower priced service like this, a dollar is like $10 with some other services. But when you look at the value overall, it looks like it's a win. So CFL Tech does approve this app for friendly TV. So check it out if you're interested in a lower cost live TV service without all the frills. Now, friendly TV might be just for you. So put your comments down below on this. What did you think of this video? Hopefully it was helpful in making your decision. Now you do have a seven day free trial as well. So there's no obligation if you try the service. So put your comments down below. Freddy Tech will be checking out this one. Soon to be back with another. Now stay tuned, there'll be more videos coming. Hit that like button, subscribe. There'll be more to come. We have a new device coming here for DirecTV. So stay tuned for that. Freddy Tech will be checking out this one. Soon to be back with another. Take care.